binary search is an example for divide and conquer. Now I will list it with the example. In order to apply binary search, the elements of the array must be sorted. Here n equal to 5. Set L to lower index that is equal to 1. H to upper index that is equal to 5. Now, uh, for finding different keys, we will work on this. In case 1, k equal to 10. This you are required to search in the array. For that, compare 10 with the mid element. Key is less than the mid element. So, set a lower limit remains same. L, L is equal to 1 itself. Set H to M minus 1. That is H equal to 2. Again, find the mid value equal to 1. Now, key 10 is compared with A1. That is A1 is 10. So, here you are finding the element at this location written M as the uh, value. So, where you found the key element now written 1 here. Next, in the case 2, the key value I am taking here is 30. Now, 30 is compared with A3 that is AM. It's matching. It will return 3. Only one comparison is being made. This is the example for best case. Next key equal to 16. 60 is greater than middle element. So search continues in the second half of the array. L equal to now it is equal to 4 that is m plus 1 and h remains same here find mid mid equal to 4 again key is compared with the middle element that is 40 so 60 is again greater than 40 now set lower bound that is l to 5 h remains same m equal to 5 now again 60 is compared with a5 so uh, 60 is greater than 50 so set l to m plus 1 that is 6 now with this you are reaching the condition l is greater than 5 that means there is no possibility of finding the element 60 so with this i think you can write the algorithm initially set l to 1 h to n then you are required to perform the loop how long while l is less than or equal to h find the mid that is m equal to floor of L plus H by 2. In case K matches with AM, written M. Or otherwise, compare K with AM, A of M. If K is less than AM, that indicates you, can, you may find the key element in the first half of the array. L remains same. That is 1 itself. Change H to M minus 1. Or otherwise, if K is greater than, the, greater than AM, then set L to M plus 1. H remains same. So, this steps is to be continued while L is less than or equal to H. If you reach the condition L greater than H, it will come out of the loop. It will return minus 1. This indicates its unsuccessful search. The same thing can be illustrated with recursive tree call. This is called recursive tree call. 
in every iteration value of l h is also being written this node represents the m value now i have taken k equal to 7 here 7 is compared with the seventh element of the array that is 54 since it is less 7 is less than 54 search continues in the left left subtree 7 is compared with now third element that is 0 7 is greater than 0 search continues in the right subtree now again here 7 is compared with the fifth element of the array that is 9 7 is less than 9 so search continues in the left subtree now at this point of time l equal to h equal to m equal to 4 now fourth element is 7 it matches with the key element so in order to find this 7 1 2 3 4 4 comparisons is being made so one more example is being taken here 158 so now 158 is compared with seventh element that is 54 it is greater greater so search continues in the right subtree again 158 is compared with the 11th element that is 125 it is greater so search continues in the right subtree again search continues in the right subtree so totally look at here uh, 158 is still greater than 151 so l equal to now m plus 1 that is 15 h equal to 14 number of comparison is 14 in this example so for every element the number of comparison is being written so look at here 54 only one comparison 151 51 four comparisons and if you want to find minus 15 three comparison for every element of the array total number of comparisons required is being written in this uh, slide okay so look at in case if the element is not there in the array the maximum number of comparison required is either 3 or 4 for example if you want to search for minus 14 which is less than minus 15 1 2 3 so after doing 3 comparison then only you can conclude minus 14 is not there in the array this is the advantage because same thing if you want to do in linear search if there are thousand element then you are required to do thousand comparison in the worst case but in binary search thousand can be thousand elements can be arranged in binary search tree with 10 levels that is 2 power 10 is approximately 1024 so maximum number of comparisons will be 10 that we will see uh, number of comparisons required in binary search can be listed with the recurrence relation now if there is only one element in the array only one comparison is required if there is more than one element in the array then search will be continued in the first half of the array or second half of the array so at any point of time only one subarray you will be considering in order to search the element now in this example b that is you are dividing the problem by 2 and in every iteration you are considering only one part of the array not both the subarray so a equal to 1 b equal to 2 so general recurrence relation i already told in the previous class tn equal to a 
Tn by 2 plus Fn that is here Cn equal to A value is 1 and B value is 2. So therefore Cn equal to Cn by 2 plus Fn here is 1 that is number of comparison required to combine the solution is one comparison you are making. So Fn equal to 1 here. Cn by 2 can be written as Cn by 4 plus 1. So this can be written as Cn by 2 square plus 2. Cn by 4 equal to Cn by 8 plus 1. So totally Cn by 8 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So the sum uh, the simplified one is Cn by 2 cube plus 3. Look at here in the first iteration Cn equal to Cn by 2 power 1 plus 1. Second iteration Cn by 2 square plus 2. Third iteration Cn by 2 cube plus 3. In ith iteration Cn by 2 power i plus i. Now substitute 2 power i equal to n. When you take log on both sides, i will be equal to log into base 2. Substitute these values in this. So n divided by n that is c1 base condition when n equal to 1 c of 1 equal to 1 and i is log into base 2. So, this belongs to theta of log n to base 2. Try this by applying master theorem. So, for this recurrence relation, when you apply the master theorem, so what uh, simplified value you will get, find out. Thank you.